Oh, hello. My name is Tyler Murphy, filmmaker extraordinaire. You might have recognized much of my work, such as How to Play Pool or The Stalker. But I'm here today not to talk about myself. That's another special. I'm here today to talk about the director. What director, you may ask? The director. In fact, a lot of his peers and critics don't actually know his real name, or his real country of origin, or his real face. In fact, we don't know much about this director, and sadly, we can't ask him about himself today. That's right, dear viewers, he has passed on. He is no longer a part of this world, or any other worlds that we know of. Regardless, he is one of my favorite directors. His use of lighting, sound, and actor quality is brilliant. In fact, he uses the same three actors in every film, showing that he has dedication to his work and a close-knit community within his films. Thank you for joining us today. This is a seven-hour PBS special. Seven parts, seven hours. This first hour is the very start of our presentation, naturally. But I must tell you, we're going to go over his very first film, and it is going to be extraordinary. I promise you that. It is my favorite of his work, and it's called The Gang, also known as Garbage Day. A lot of his critics disagree that this was a strong beginning for the director's career, but I have to say, it, well, you can be the judge for yourself. Without much further ado, The Gang. Welcome, Agent Sack. Please, have a seat. I have a mission for you. We need you to claim new territory for us from SNU. We want you to go out and mark some new territory for us. I have just the tool. Sack! You don't fuck with my crew's turf! Ah! Uh. 
excellent, excellent. You know what day it is today, sack? Garbage day! Hey, you wanna go? Wow, wasn't that film just absolutely wonderful? The way Sack's body gets riddled with bullets at the very end is just gripping and brings me to the edge of my seat every time. Those slow motion cuts, that authentic sound, the copyrighted music, it was just absolutely extraordinary. In fact, that boom person is exactly what they're doing. I especially love the scene of Sack walking across the street being cut multiple times as, as if his attempt to get to his objective is futile. He may never make it across that street, but he may. A lot of his peers and critics alike tell the director, told the director that his work was not very suitable for the film industry. In fact, we don't have much to show you now that I think about it. Not really sure how we're going to fill the uh, next six hours of our time together. But without much ado, we do have a second film of his called The Monster, a monster movie that displayed lots of copyright infringement for another famous film. You will be impressed, however, of the couple seconds we do have to show you today. Take a look. Don't you see the raw talent of director displayed in that film? Well, we only had a few seconds to give you a glimpse of the rest of the movie must have been wonderful. It, I cannot begin to describe the cinematography there, the destroyed buildings, the special effects, the monster tearing across the great open plains. It really made you feel that you were there. Sadly, we don't have the rest of this film, mostly because of the copyright infringement, but also because of the terrible fire. That's right, viewers. A fire claimed most of the film reels that the director made. It's up for debate whether, in a fit of madness, the director burned all of his work after being called terrible, or if his critics came to his house and set everything ablaze. Luckily, some of the work, such as the gangs, still live on today in the $5 DVD bins at Walmart, showing the commitment the director had to bringing his film to a mass audience. Now, that concludes this very first hour of our special. I hope you join us next time. And remember, if we keep him in our hearts. His legacy will never die, whatever his legacy was. Logan, Dad. I loved her so much. I know. I, I know you did. I can't believe she was taken from me. She was a good grandmother. She I'll, really was. I'll get those bandits. You will. You will. Did we bandits? Yes. They stole her from me. Oh, I'm and sorry. Every, and now, ever since she's gone, I just see her easel everywhere I go. Her easel? Was she a painter? She was a. She was a. Uh, an average painter, but average. she loved it so much. That's all that meant. Wait a minute. What? Derek, I see what? it too. I no! See, I see her easel. No! I do. Derek. No! Look. Where? Look left. Her easel! Open my